Hey guys, Penny here from Monaco Nail Academy. The video you're about to watch is actually taken directly from one of our Salon Success courses, Marketing and Social Media. We share these lessons occasionally on our channel, but the Marketing and Social Media course has over a hundred lessons on everything from branding and photography through to time management um, and budgeting, plus covers all major social media platforms and how to utilize them for your salon. So, if you want to get the full immersive course experience, head over and check it out on our website. Links are below and payment plans are available. Along with the lessons, you get access to a private Facebook group with heaps of support, interactive challenges and implementation tasks to help you actually use what you learn as well as lots of templates and downloads to make everything that wee bit easier. Before we move on, please hit like on this video and subscribe to our channel. And now without further ado, here's the lesson. We touched briefly on the concept of selling experiences and I want to expand on that for a minute. It's really important that you understand that people very rarely purchase a service for the end result only. You very rarely purchase a service for the end result only. What differentiates one service from another is the experience of obtaining it. You don't go to a fancy restaurant to obtain calories, even though essentially that is what you are paying for. You are paying for kilojoules and nutrients and the privilege of not sourcing or preparing them yourself. That's the same no matter where you purchase your food. At McDonald's, you are paying for kilojoules, nutrients, and the privilege of not sourcing or preparing them yourself. In the deli at the supermarket, you are paying for kilojoules and nutrients and the privilege of not sourcing or preparing them yourself. In a bakery, in a local pub, or in an upmarket restaurant, you are paying for kilojoules, nutrients, and the privilege of not sourcing or preparing them yourself. So then, why go to the fancy restaurant at all? You go to the fancy restaurant for the ambience, the comfy seat, the candle on the table, the fairy lights or mood lighting, the decoration on the side of your cocktail glass, the music, the wait staff, the outdoor heater or the indoor air conditioning, the busy chatter around you or the quiet private booth in the corner. You are paying for a skill in the kitchen that you don't otherwise possess and you are paying for the right to leave the dishes in the sink. So too, your customers are not paying to have their hair ripped from its follicles, a color on the tips of their fingers, or even to have makeup applied. They are paying for the aesthetics of your space, the colors, the plants, the artwork, the natural light, the music, the ventilation, the oil burner, the conversation, the chair, the cushions, your precision, your products, the lack of grazes, burns and damage, the variety of choice, the feeling of a transformation, the temperature in the room, the coffee, the magazine in the waiting area, the massage at the end, the peace and quiet, and the temporary lack of responsibility and stress. What we need to do is tie this into your marketing. If what they are paying for is not the end result, then why is the only thing you are showing on your website, on your social media, in your marketing, the nails, or the lashes, or the hair, or whichever service it is that you are promoting? Yes, the color or service is part of the appeal. I'm not going to go to an ambient, aesthetically pleasing, nice smelling salon that does a crap job. But I'm also going to be hard pressed to pay for even the very best service if the chair is uncomfortable, the lighting harsh and the ventilation poor. Imagine the Facebook cover photo of a salon. If it is a set of nails, then it will only attract people who like that particular set of nails. Things like color, bling, art and photo quality might turn away someone who would have otherwise loved your work in general. Same for brows, lashes or makeup, you are limiting what people experience of your work. Now imagine the cover photo manages to make you feel something. You feel relaxed or inspired or excited 
or calm when you look at it? Tell me in the comments below this lesson, what makes you feel these things? What makes you feel relaxed? What makes you feel inspired or excited or calm? And how could you show them in an image? Moving forward, it's time to start selling the experience, not just the service.